heart disease and stroke are the leading causes of death and disability worldwide, and deaths from cardiovascular diseases are predicted to rise to more than 24 million by 2030. Yet access to optimal treatment can be a challenge, not only in developing countries. Well, that's improving thanks to the pharmaceutical company Boehringer Ingelheim. Well, to tell us more, we're joined by Dr. Georg van Husen, the company's corporate senior vice president and head of the Cardio Metabolism Therapeutic Area. I'm Sarah Lockett. Welcome to the Business Debate. Dr. Van Husen, Georg, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. Great to be here, Sarah. So what is the optimal treatment for strokes? Is it all about speed? Time is the most critical factor for a good stroke treatment, yeah, because every minute a stroke patient loses about two million brain cells. Um, and so time is of the essence that patients get to a dedicated stroke center as soon as possible. And there are effective treatment options available that have shown to reduce mortality, disability, um, and increase the chances of patients having an independent life after all. And so it's critical that patients get to the treatment as soon as possible. And you're doing a lot of work with hospitals to help them improve their processes to identify weaknesses and things like that. Tell me about that. We have started the ANGELS initiative, which is an initiative that aims at uh, helping hospitals to get a stroke ready center, or if they are already, then to improve their processes further so that they have more patients receiving the optimal treatment and therefore providing better health. And this would be things like getting them into a CAT scan as quickly as possible or what? For example, and sometimes it's small things like that, that instead of taking the right door to the emergency room, you take the left door right to the CAT scan and you do the blood work and everything that needs to be done there because that saves some time. It also to have um, a team set up uh, which is dedicated uh, to provide good stroke care. And in good stroke centers, the a physician waits for the patient, not the other way around. And what kind of outcomes or improvements in outcomes are you seeing from this? We see in general with good treatment that you can reduce mortality, disability, hospital length of stay and increase the chances that a patient can have an independent life after stroke. And what changes are most effective do you think? It's having protocols ready uh, so that it's a standardized treatment. Um, it's making sure that you have short ways um, and that a patient is being tracked and that there's a sense of urgency with everybody in their team understanding that every minute matters. And you're doing this across the world because some countries are more advanced than others? They are, but even in Europe, uh, only one out of three patients is receiving optimal stroke care in a stroke care center. So there's a lot of room for improvement. We started in some emerging countries, Eastern European countries, a couple of years ago, and we could see a three to five fold increase in the patients receiving optimal stroke treatment. And uh, we are now rolling it out across Europe with a uh, dedicated ANGELS initiative, which is also supported by the European Stroke Organization. And you're working to become not just a drug seller, although you do sell drugs, but to take more of a holistic approach. Now, this is the same direction that other pharma companies are going in, but you're a bit ahead of the game. Tell me about that. Well, I, I believe the future is in providing holistic solutions. Healthcare systems need better health at lower cost. And in stroke, um, uh, Beringer Ingelheim has been active for decades. We have a lot of experience uh, there. We are providing drugs in that area, but we also want to provide better outcomes for patients at the end of the day. And I think this gets us the respect of the partners in doing such initiatives together. And you're also looking at collaborating with other industries, maybe IT. So in what way? Well, if you think about the pharma industry's core competency is actually data. Yeah? It's about generating data in clinical trials, analyzing it, um, drawing conclusions from it. And now with variables, with other technologies, we have the opportunity to go into big data, to collect data through variables, for example. And this is where the IT expertise comes in. IT companies work very differently. They're used to work with big data. We are working with small data, if you will. And so putting those two competencies together, I think will be a very productive collaboration. And would that help you to predict who's going to have a stroke or? For example, that's one of the areas we are looking into, predicting stroke as well as detecting stroke early on so that you can even further reduce the time to optimal treatment. And also lifestyle, of course, helping people exercise trackers, things like this. Absolutely. Yeah, so we are wide open and we are looking into different ways how we can provide better health. 
And what kind of willingness is there to adopt these more integrated solutions? I guess it's different in different countries? It is very different. It depends on the healthcare system. Uh, it works better in systems that have a single payer who is responsible for all the associated costs of a treatment. Um, in systems where you have fragmentation, it's more difficult because one usually has to pay more for the other one to save, and that doesn't work well. And also in systems um, that have a lot of uh, private payers, for example, it works better because they want to be attractive for their customers. And so if they have an uh, offering that provides better health for their customers and is uh, appealing to them, that also obviously helps us. As well. And also R&D costs are going up, health payers are becoming, well, their budgets are squeezed. How are you changing your business model to accommodate that? That's why we need to think about holistic solutions, like the car industry who moves from selling cars to providing mobility solutions. We have to move from selling drugs to providing more solutions for better health. All right. Well, Georg, thank you very much. Thank you, Sarah. And join us next time when we'll be discussing the latest innovations in investment management and also sustainability. Bye for now.